Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Para retinal and para sickle fossils. What are they? Let's start with the para retinal fossil. Para means around. Around the retinal. Fossils are shallow spaces around the peritoneum. Now to understand the para retinal fossa, uh, you need to understand the arrangement at the D duodeno general junction. Duodenum is retroperitoneum, behind the peritoneum. Jejunum is intraperitoneum because jejunum carries with it a mesentery. And the fold of peritoneum is arising from DJ flexure carrying with it the breaking of small bowel mesentery. Paradinal fossas are potential sites of bowel herniation where the bowel can enter and may become strangulated. Let me draw over here uh, the opening where the uh, duodenum becomes jejunum. Now duodenum is retroperitoneum. behind the peritoneum and as it becomes intraperitoneal uh, it gives rise to jejunum. This is all retroperitoneal behind the peritoneum and the jejunum is arising from over here carrying with it small ball mesentery so at this place where the peritoneum is lifting up from the posterior abdominal wall, it forms certain shallow spaces. Very small shallow spaces, these are known as fossas. These are known as peridinal fossas. And these peridinal fossas are potential spaces where a loop of the gut can enter inside and get trapped. This is known as uh, internal herniation. A loop of the gut goes inside the fossa and may not be able to come out. And if it, no, if it is not able to come out, it may his blood supply may be affected and that is known as strangulation. So that is paradinal fossa. Now we come to the parasical fossa. Over here is the same arrangement as uh, DJ flexion. Around the parasical fossa are certain spaces and this is because ileum, terminal ileum is intraperitoneal whereas cecum and ascending colon is retroperitoneal. Ascending colon is uh, always retroperitoneal. Cecum may be slightly mobile and some part of the cecum may be partly covered by peritoneum. So this is ileocecal junction where the ileum is intraperitoneal and the cecum is cecum uh, and ascending colon is retroperitoneal and the ileocecal junction is the also the site of distal attachment of the small bowel mesentery so this site also contains certain fossas because one structure is intraperitoneal and the other one is retroperitoneal
and these forces are known as paradudent forces, are paracycle forces. These forces are known as paracycle forces because they are around the sickle. And they are potential site for herniation of gut and strangulation. I stop over here. Thank you.